Welcome to an exciting journey through time and space. Today, we begin an adventure that takes us across continents and through the annals of history. We'll be exploring the seven wonders of the world, those awe-inspiring structures that have fascinated our imaginations for centuries. From the grandeur of the Great Pyramid of Giza to the mythical allure of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, these architectural masterpieces stand as testaments to human ingenuity and the indomitable spirit of civilization. But what if we could see them in their prime, restored to their former glory? That's the question we're here to answer. We'll take the fragments of the past, the ruins left behind, and piece together a picture of what these wonders might have looked like in their heyday. So buckle up, history enthusiasts, for a trip back in time. Prepare yourself for a fascinating exploration of these architectural marvels. Our first stop is the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, Turkey. Standing tall for centuries, this temple was once a beacon of the ancient world, a sacred place dedicated to the Greek goddess Artemis, the patroness of animals and the hunt. Constructed in the mid-6th century BCE, the Temple of Artemis was a marvel of its time. Its grandeur was such that it was considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, with an imposing structure that boasted over a hundred marble pillars standing nearly 60 feet tall. It was a spectacle to behold. However, like many great monuments of antiquity, the Temple of Artemis was not immune to the ravages of time. It suffered multiple instances of destruction and rebuilding. The most significant of these occurred in 356 BCE, when a man named Herostratus set fire to the temple, seeking fame at any cost. Despite such devastation, the resilient Ephesians rebuilt their beloved temple, each time more magnificent than the last. Fast forward to the present day and you'll find a field of humble ruins, a stark contrast to the temple's former splendor. All that remains is a single forlorn column standing amidst a scatter of fallen stones. Yet, these ruins tell a story. They are a silent testament to the temple's grand past and a vivid reminder of the impermanence of human achievements. Now, let's journey into the realm of reconstruction. Imagine the temple in all its glory its marble pillars reaching towards the sky, its roof adorned with intricate carvings, and its altar filled with offerings to the goddess Artemis. This is not mere speculation. Recent reconstructions based on historical records and archaeological findings have given us a glimpse into what the temple might have looked like. These reconstructions offer a fascinating insight into the architectural prowess of the ancient Greeks and the cultural significance of the temple. A true testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Greeks, the Temple of Artemis continues to inspire awe. Whether it's the crumbling ruins or the majestic reconstruction, the temple stands as a symbol of human ingenuity, resilience, and our timeless desire to reach for the divine. Next, we travel to the Lighthouse of Alexandria, Egypt. Poised on the eastern edge of the Nile Delta, this towering beacon of light was once reputed to be one of the tallest man-made structures on Earth for many centuries. Built around the 3rd century BC, during the reign of Ptolemy II Philadelphus, the lighthouse was a testament to human ingenuity and architectural prowess. Its gleaming light served as a guiding star for ancient mariners navigating the murky waters of the Mediterranean. Constructed primarily from large blocks of light-coloured stone, the lighthouse was divided into three tiers. A rectangular base, an octagonal middle, and a cylindrical top, all reaching an estimated height of over 120 metres. At its apex, a mirror reflected sunlight during the day, while a fire was lit at night. However, the ravages of time and nature were unkind to this marvel. A series of earthquakes between the 12th and 14th centuries led to its gradual disintegration. By the late 14th century, the once magnificent lighthouse was reduced to a pile of rubble. In recent years, efforts to resurrect this ancient wonder have taken shape. Based on historical descriptions and archaeological findings, a digital reconstruction of the lighthouse has been created, providing us with a glimpse of its past grandeur. The reconstructed image reveals a colossal structure, its tiers adorned with intricate carvings, and its topmost part featuring the statue of Poseidon, the Greek god of the sea. 
The Lighthouse of Alexandria, though long lost to the sands of time, continues to illuminate our understanding of the past. It stands as a testament to the innovative spirit of the ancient world, a beacon of knowledge that guides us in our quest to understand our history. The Lighthouse of Alexandria remains an enduring symbol of the ancient world's ingenuity. Our journey continues to the mausoleum at Halle Carnassus, Turkey. This architectural marvel was built around the 4th century BC as the final resting place for Mausolus, a powerful Persian satrap. The mausoleum was not just a tomb, but a symbol of Mausolus's political power and influence, standing at an impressive height of approximately 140 feet. The mausoleum was a fusion of Greek, Near Eastern and Egyptian design elements, reflecting the cosmopolitan nature of the Persian Empire. It was adorned with intricate sculptures and reliefs, crafted by four of the most acclaimed Greek sculptors of the time. These artistic masterpieces depicted mythological scenes and honoured both Mausolus and his queen, Artemisia. Regrettably, like many ancient wonders, the mausoleum could not withstand the ravages of time. It was destroyed by a series of earthquakes during the Middle Ages. Today, only the foundation and a few fragments of sculpture remain, a poignant testament to its former glory. Recent efforts have tried to bring this wonder back to life through detailed reconstructions. Using historical records, architectural remnants and advanced technology, researchers and artists have recreated the mausoleum in stunning detail. This digital reconstruction offers a glimpse into the past, showing us the mausoleum as it would have stood in its prime, a testament to human ingenuity and the grandeur of ancient civilizations. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus is a reminder of the grandeur of ancient civilizations. It tells a tale of power, artistic mastery and architectural brilliance that continues to inspire us today. It's not just a relic of the past, but a symbol of human ability to create, innovate and leave a lasting legacy. We now arrive at the statue of Zeus at Olympia, Greece. Imagine, if you will, a towering figure seated on an elaborately decorated throne, reaching almost 40 feet high. This was the statue of Zeus at Olympia, Greece, the embodiment of the Greek civilization's reverence for their king of gods, Zeus. Created by the renowned sculptor Phidias around 436 BC, this colossal statue was an epitome of artistic brilliance and an awe-inspiring sight. The statue was primarily made of ivory and gold-plated bronze. Zeus's figure was seated on a magnificent throne, intricately decorated with mythical creatures and heroic figures. In his right hand, he held a small statue of the goddess of victory, Nike, and in his left, a scepter adorned with an eagle, a symbol of his dominion over the heavens and the earth. Now let's talk about its ruins. Over time, the statue suffered the ravages of nature and human interference. It's believed that a major fire destroyed the statue in the 5th century AD. Unfortunately, no fragments of this once magnificent wonder have been found. What remains today are mere descriptions and depictions in coins and gems, leaving much to the realm of imagination. The reconstruction of the statue, however, brings the grandeur of the original back to life. Using descriptions from ancient texts and archaeological studies, the statue has been recreated albeit on a smaller scale. The recreated statue, while not as grand as the original, gives us a glimpse into the artistic genius of the ancient Greeks and their deep reverence for Zeus. The statue of Zeus continues to evoke the spirit of the ancient Greek civilization. Our next stop is the Great Pyramid of Giza, Egypt. Imagine, if you will, stepping back in time to an era of pharaohs and sphinxes, when the world was still a mystery waiting to be unraveled. The Great Pyramid of Giza, the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world, is a marvel that has stood the test of time, a testament to the remarkable engineering skills of the ancient Egyptians. Erected as a tomb for the pharaoh Khufu, also known as Cheops, this pyramid was built from over two million limestone blocks, each weighing more than two tons. It was the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years. A marvel not just in its size, but also in the precision of its layout. The sides of the pyramid are meticulously aligned to the cardinal points of the compass, a feat that leaves us in awe even today. 
However, time has not been kind to this ancient wonder. The gleaming white casing stones that once covered the pyramid have long since disappeared, leaving behind the step-like appearance we see today. Its once smooth exterior now resembles a rugged mountain peak, a stark reminder of the relentless march of time. But let's imagine for a moment the Great Pyramid in its prime. Picture a gleaming white monument reaching for the heavens, its polished limestone casing reflecting the sun's rays visible from miles away. The pyramid would have been capped with a gilded tip, adding to its splendor. Imagine the awe it must have inspired in those who beheld it, a symbol of the pharaoh's divine power and the grandeur of ancient Egypt. From ruin to rebirth, the reconstruction of the Great Pyramid is a journey back in time, a chance to glimpse the marvel that it once was. Using modern technology, researchers and archaeologists have painstakingly recreated this ancient wonder, giving us a chance to experience the Great Pyramid as it may have looked in its heyday. The Great Pyramid of Giza stands as a testament to the remarkable engineering skills of the ancient Egyptians. We now journey to the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, Iraq. Picture a lush green paradise suspended high in the air in the heart of an arid desert. This is the vision that the Hanging Gardens of Babylon conjures. An oasis of tranquility and beauty, the Hanging Gardens were said to be a remarkable feat of engineering, a testament to the advanced knowledge of irrigation and architecture in ancient times. The Hanging Gardens' historical significance is deeply rooted in the mystery surrounding their existence. While there's no physical evidence to confirm their location or even their existence, they live on through ancient texts. Described as a marvellous structure with exotic plants and trees cascading downwards, they were reportedly built by Babylonian King Nebuchadnezzar II around 600 years before Christ as a gift to his wife who missed the green hills and valleys of her homeland. The ruins of these legendary gardens, however, remain elusive. Some speculate that they were destroyed by earthquakes in the 2nd century BC. Yet, the lack of concrete archaeological evidence has led many to question whether they ever existed at all. But despite this, the allure of the Hanging Gardens has never faded. The reconstruction of the Hanging Gardens is a fascinating project, bringing to life the descriptions from ancient texts. Imagine terraces stacked upon each other, reaching up to 75 feet in height, with a complex irrigation system nourishing a vibrant array of flora. The gardens are believed to have contained not just local but also exotic plants, showcasing the diversity and richness of the ancient world. This virtual reconstruction, while speculative, offers a glimpse into the grandeur and sophistication of ancient Babylonian architecture and engineering. It's a testament to human imagination, ingenuity and the desire to create beauty even in the harshest of environments. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon remain a symbol of the splendour of the ancient world. Our final stop is the Colossus of Rhodes, Greece. Let's journey back to the 3rd century BC to the island of Rhodes. Situated in the Aegean Sea, Rhodes was an important economic centre and a stronghold of the Hellenistic civilization. The Colossus of Rhodes, a gigantic statue of the Greek sun god Helios, was erected to celebrate the island's victory over the invading forces of Cyprus. Soaring to a height of over 100 feet, the Colossus was one of the tallest statues of the ancient world. It was crafted by the sculptor Charis of Lindos, who spent 12 long years pouring his skill and dedication into this masterpiece. The statue was a marvel of ancient engineering constructed from iron and bronze plates over a stone framework. But alas, this magnificent monument did not stand the test of time. Merely 56 years after its completion, the Colossus was toppled by a devastating earthquake. It lay in ruins for centuries, its massive fragments a poignant reminder of the grandeur that once was. Fast forward to the present day, and we find ourselves amidst the ambitious project of reconstructing the Colossus. Using modern technology and historical records, experts are recreating the statue with painstaking accuracy. The new Colossus, like its predecessor, will stand as a beacon of light, a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of the Rhodesians. The Colossus of Rhodes, in its glory and in its ruins, encapsulates the spirit of the ancient Greeks, their artistic prowess, their technical brilliance and their indomitable will. 
It is a monument not just to a god, but to the extraordinary capabilities of humankind. Whether gazing upon the original statue or its meticulous reconstruction, one cannot help but feel a sense of awe and wonder. The Colossus of Rhodes stands as a symbol of the artistic and technical achievements of the ancient Greeks. And so, we have journeyed through time to visit the seven wonders of the world. Our voyage began at the Temple of Artemis in Ephesus, Turkey, where we saw an awe-inspiring reconstruction of this ancient marvel. Then, we were transported to the Lighthouse of Alexandria in Egypt, admired its grandeur, and envisioned its might in antiquity. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus in Turkey was our next stop, followed by the towering statue of Zeus at Olympia, Greece. We then marveled at the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, the only wonder of the ancient world that still stands today. We moved on to the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, a lush paradise in Iraq, and finally wrapped up our journey at the Colossus of Rhodes in Greece, an impressive testament to human ingenuity. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and space as we brought the seven wonders of the world back to life.